Pianos. In this video, I want to tell you all about a very helpful and unique and interesting piano method that in my opinion serves as a refreshing alternative to some of the more modern piano methods that are out there. And I have been having quite a lot of success in my studio with this method lately, especially with adult students. And so the method that I am referring to is the Bartok Microcosmos series, which comes in six volumes and ranges from the earliest beginner levels to uh, pretty difficult exercises. Although I'm primarily concerned with the first couple of books because these books are meant to introduce students to all kinds of different classical writing and prepare them for classical repertoire, which is everything I want in a piano method. I find that the modern methods are a little too well-rounded, in my opinion, because I am really just trying to get students to classical and I'm not having them study like really modern things and, and jazz and improv and stuff. I'm pretty focused on classical repertoire. And while you can disagree with that or agree with that or, or whatever, like that's my specialty, that's what I'm interested in, that's what my students are interested in. And so I have been looking for a method that just gives me no nonsense graded progressive exercises with little to no explanation and, uh, and something that is challenging and satisfying from, for students from day one. And I believe that I have found that in Microcosmos. I'm very pleased with the effect this is having on my students. When you combine this with a, a strong sight reading approach and some technical skills as well, uh, it, students just seem to move so much faster in my studio than something like you know, the Piano Adventures or the Alfreds or whatever. And I'm not disparaging Piano Adventures. Like that's been the main method I've been using for a while uh, up until where a student can play classical music. I do appreciate them. I do appreciate the writing. I, I really like some of the later compositions that are found in some of the Piano Adventure series. But especially at the very beginning levels, I feel like uh, because we're using like modern major scales and minor scales and things like that, because of the tonality, because of the simplicity of the hand positions, whatnot, the music sounds very plain and it continues to sound plain until too far in the book, in my opinion. And so generally speaking, I try to encourage students to go for quantity and not so much quality and try to, try to get a lot of music under their belt and get a lot of experience really quickly. And, uh, and you know, they usually come out the other side and uh, end up jumping into classical material after they're finished with the first Piano Adventures book, at least in my studio. Some of them choose to do the second Piano Adventures book, the uh, adult level one. But for the most part, people want to jump into classical as early on as possible. But I find that the Piano Adventures doesn't prepare them quite as well as something like the Microcosmos Volume 1. And so the Microcosmos Volume 1, even though it's in a five-finger position, I don't even think it introduces eighth notes or anything in the entire first volume. It introduces like polyphonic writing. It introduces modal, um, modal uh, tonalities and even key signatures that are actually assigned to modes. So, I mean, definitely more advanced theoretical concepts, and that results in the music sounding interesting, even though if it, it, it might not sound like really pleasant always, you know, it sounds a little weird sometimes, but at the same time, it sounds uh, interesting and satisfying. And it's like each one's like the satisfying, intricate puzzle that you figure out. And so the first book's got 36 exercises. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is because I want to promote a course that I literally just finished like today. I've been shooting this course, videos for this course for a while now. And I just finished um, the uh, 36th exercise video today. And there's like 40 videos or something in the course. It's like five and a half hours of footage. And this is the perfect method so far that I found for that uh, for a couple of reasons. First, I needed a method that's not, I'm not gonna have to deal with all of the copyright uh, issues with the modern methods. Like everything's under copyright. I can't really uh, talk about things on camera or really, you know, we're not really supposed to be like playing those pieces on camera, you know? But the Bartok stuff is out of copyright and so I am free to, uh, to actually be playing those and explaining those. I do recommend this Boosie and Hawks edition, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter what edition you use because the source material is uh, what I'm really after and what I'm really talking about. So that's the first requirement that I'm looking for in a method. The second is I don't want instructions, I don't want graphics, I don't want pictures, I don't want things that are distracting, and I don't want technical exercises uh, other than what it recommends as pieces. 
And so the microcosmos has that. It's basically like a method without instructions. It's a blank slate. And so I basically, whether I'm in a lesson with a student or I'm pre-recording a lesson as, uh, as part of my course thing that I was just talking about, I am introducing the needed concepts when they are needed for each piece for the 36 pieces. And of course, there's other things that I recommend that you do at the same time that you study this, but this is just very helpful and it's going to, um, it's sort of like mini Bach inventions, like some of the pieces are. Like it's, it's um, really, um, the hands have to do uh, independent and complicated things really, really early on. And it's just so good for you, especially when you count out loud, which is what I generally have all of my students do. And so this method is just working perfectly with the way that I teach. And it's working perfectly to prepare students for the earlier classical uh, repertoire. In fact, that's what the first three books of Microcosmos, the first three volumes I meant to say, are designed for is to prepare students for early classical music, things like first lessons in Bach and Bergmuller 25 pieces, and maybe your Czerny, maybe your 25, or, or not 25, but your um, Clementi Sonatinas, things of that nature, right? This late beginner slash intermediate level music uh, really requires a lot of reading experience, requires a fair bit of theoretical experience by the time you get there. And so I feel like this combined with some good sight reading and some good um, technical exercise, some technical regimen, I think it's going to get you there pretty fast. And so if you are interested in having a video lesson on every single one of these pieces, as well as a couple of extras based on student request or things that I felt like you needed to know and uh, you would like to study that way, you would like to experience the awesomeness that is the Microcosmos book, despite its weird tonalities. If you're interested in, in figuring out these wonderful puzzle pieces of music, I would encourage you to check out my membership, which I will link to in the description below, where you can become a student of mine asynchronously, and you can combine that with lessons with me if you'd like. Otherwise, you can just use the course. And by the way, the five and a half hours of footage that covers just this one volume is just one of the courses that's in there. And so this is this specifically is very geared towards new pianists or uh, folks who are beginners or late beginners. So, so people that aren't really playing things like sonatinas yet and whatnot. This is really going to be good for you and it's going to help you get the repertoire confidence that you need to actually start working with uh, legitimate classical repertoire. And so that's really all I'm after here. And that's what my membership is designed to do is to try to bring a student to where they can start appreciating that music. And of course, I actually cover that music in other courses as well. So if that sort of thing interests you, click on the link in the description. But whether or not you're interested in lessons with me or the membership or anything like that, I really felt like this is something you need to know about. If you are an intermediate or maybe a little later student, you could go back and use these for sight reading practice, but also note that the six volumes get pretty difficult by the end. And so they uh, are very likely relevant uh, and they'll continue to be relevant. And so if you're not already experienced with Microcosmos, I highly recommend it. I've seen all over like the piano reddits and piano learning reddits and things like that, that uh, Microcosmos really comes highly recommended from quite a lot of different teachers. And um, it's very much earned its place as a massive contribution to pedagogical material that we have. So I would highly recommend that you explore it in some way at some point in your study. Anyway, I hope that you found this video helpful and uh, hopefully I will see you in the membership. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.